Good morning. Uh, so today, uh, carrying on with uh, Stimper Pixie next. Uh, yesterday, uh, we've got the formatting OK for um, a JSON export file. Uh, so now we actually need to actually, now we need to actually, 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 actually write it out. So, um, OK, so we can call a function called JSON um, in the export package. It's an internal package uh, over here. Um, and we could pass it uh, some snippets and whether we want the output file to be indented or not. Um, and we've got a little test for that. Uh, we have a couple of snippets that we create on the fly. Um, and then we do a legacy version, which has got um, this daft format with an array in the data and then objects. Um, but then we've got the real real thing for going forward, um, which is version 201, um, which has a much simpler format. But we need to output that file somewhere. Um, I'm going to do this first on the CLI, um, and eventually once we've written the GUI app, uh, we should be able to reuse this functionality. So, um, how shall we do that? Well, I guess we need, first of all, we need to have some params to the CLI to get it going. So that's, we'll do a config test for that. Let's do, um, oh, hold on a minute, why have I got these things here? Interesting. Let's do a quick test of that. Go up. So test OK at the moment. And now, so what these are going to do, they're going to test that we can pass search. And minus s. And it should have the same output. of a get snippets command looking for sp backtick. So why why did I have them commented out? They work. Okay. list. Definitely doing it. List snippets where abbreviation or body there includes search string. Uh, Search, search, blah, blah, blah. Only one search string supported. Okay. Let's do a quick test of that. We do uh, 
patch. What am I passing in here? I'm passing in. Okay, it's the expandable array, so I can then pass in another one. So this should fail. Surge equals SPU backtick. Let's do some really daft stuff here. So this is like short version as well on its own. And then here we do short and long together. Right, they should all fail. And therefore the test passes. Nope. Uh, 111, not true, uh, it's not nil. Hmm. Okay, so it's not the test that I should be doing there then. It's interesting actually, so right, okay, so what I have been testing is if you don't supply any arguments as one search that's interesting why what have I been doing there then That was a non-test, so that's interesting. Okay, so we've got error coming out here, but if if I'd passed a non-existent flag. I would expect an error. Right, okay. So for whatever 
reason. But we don't know which test we're on. Okay. What's the betting? It's this last one. No. Okay. So it could be either one then. Yep. So that test for multiple hits on the same parameter isn't right. Okay, right. That's not what that test is. So in here, what we're looking for is if search has not been set, but there's multiple strings given or multiple arguments. So it's in the positional positional search. So you just do simple pixie list and then a string without putting like search or whatever in it. But if you do a couple of different quoted strings, then it's going to fail. Okay. So that's why I should double. That's what I should be te testing there. Otherwise, it will probably be the last search that wins, I would have thought. I don't know. I don't know how this works. I should probably test that as well. So otherwise, it works. Okay, well, let's do that because that's uh... okay. So they're redundant. What we need is this. What we do. Just. Just a search. Two different ones there. A bit like that. Although in theory, I shouldn't need that. Okay. That could have been the problem anyway. I had an extra single quote in there. All right. Okay. That makes sense. But what happens if I do the same here? So what about If we do search equals S uh, SPU backtick, is it going to now fail because the second search is the argument or is it going to pass because it just picks up on the first and uses that? That would be good to know. Okay, takes a second. Good to know. All right, I'll do that then. We'll make that pass. And I'll put second. So I know. Good. All right. So that's the expected behavior. I might need to document that uh, in the man file stuff. Um, okay. 
quickly save that, I think. Fix tests for list marks. Okay. Right, now we're going to get on to what we want to do. So what we want to do is we want to have um, an export. Um, so there's a different bit of ways of doing that. Um, at the moment, so the ye old way is this. So we need to, we need to um, support minus E and or export on the default set of flags. But I also want to add um, do I do I need to do I need to add an export command? Not really. Not yet. I can always do it later, I guess. So let's just do that then. So we'll add it. Um, add it up here as part of the default set, I guess. Maybe here. Maybe we will add it as a new one. Uh, right, so it's going to be this kind of format. So we want to get something where you do export ripple.json. It should call um, what command? Just export, I suppose. And We're expecting that. And we don't expect anything on the output. Okay. So that should fail. Because we have no way of actually generating that command now. Cool. Yep. So we're getting a usage. Which so we can sort that out now. So in config default flag set. I think we can steal this. And we will have we will substitute ping for export. And response should be file, I guess. 
So Uh, yeah, so we want to do something like snippets dash and then uh, time dot is it now? I guess a format of some sort. Some format there. And then JSON. So that's going to be the default file name. Uh, and what is the format? Name layout and what's the layout? Alright, so this is the old um second of Jan two thousand six thing. What I want is um just an SQL date. So like reverse that year month day. Everyone understands that. Is there a shortcut for that? SQL, no. What is Unix? No, don't want that. Um, I might just make it up, eh? Let's just try this. 2006 01 02. It's like a magic date that they use. Um, and why is it complaining there? What's wrong with that? And why is it not giving me any reason for that? Okay, well, we'll see. Okay, so what have we been using? Uh, let's see what we've got. Hey, 
export snippets to file. <laughs> okay, that'll do. Export snippets to file. Short form is E. So we're going to look for a string. Going to stuff the result in export file. The flag is export or E. We have a default, which is this file name, which is basically just wherever you are. That's a good point. I might need to stuff in the current working directory. Um, and then the usage is that. To set the default argument, we need to do this extra little bit here, which is saying if nothing is applied, we're going to use this value instead. Um, yeah. And then How did we do? Okay. Now we need to just kind of do this as well. So We'll export latish in the list. And then command would just be export. And export file. That's what we're going to pass as an arg. Okay. So that should satisfy that test there now. Although I do need to fix it up in a sec. But yeah. Uh, oh, it's the wrong place. Let's go over here. So I make a test. Passes. Okay. Now. I want to do the XDG thing. So in main, at some point somewhere, oh no, it's the daemon, isn't it? Yeah. So there's a bunch of XDGs. So that's a path. Let's see what we can do with that. Then. So I want to create a this file name. Okay, I've got a theory. All right, let's try. I'm gonna. I'll probably change this in a sec, but I just want to autocomplete stuff here. So xdg dot 
Oh, I don't need to do XTG stuff, do I? It's probably, it's probably just, um, I could do home. It would be better if it just dumped out wherever you are. Yeah. Um, so... That's probably an OS, isn't it? I need to look that up. I don't know how to do that. What constants do we have? Okay, not of them. Earth. Get current working directory returns a rooted path name corresponding to the current directory. If the current directory can be reached via multiple paths due to symbolic links, current working down. Okay. So, is that the best? Guess. Right. I'll try it. And so, what we'll do here is Working directory or error is equal to dot get wd. Um, if uh, it's not equal to new, we're in trouble. Uh, what we're we going to do here? Are we throwing any errors? Yeah. Oh, actually, we can just return that, whatever that error is. Turn. Otherwise. We can do WD plus B 
That should be interesting. Um, so let's test that then. So if we do export without a file name, we should get, oh, great. Uh, I'm going to need to grab that one, two, three, four. need that. Uh, how do you find it? Uh, is, can I just do a fail? Does this have a fail? Is dot fail. Boom. WD returned error. Oh, actually, <laughs> uh -huh. is no error. That's all we need to do. And um, right. Yeah, I see that's the thing, isn't it? I'm going to have to basically duplicate that. Bit of a silly test, really. But I guess it is just checking that passing the pram without a file does return what we expect. Okay. So that passes. Um, let's break it. Case. see what happens then yeah yep so it's just me <laughs> getting a quick and dirty way of making sure it does the right thing so it's saying it's going it's trying to output to homey in project simply big c command cli oh that's good 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 job by tested that because we need a directory separator there. Interesting. That worries me. It's different because it's putting the relative path into the directory. So it's different. So, okay. I can get away with it there. But here, 
Um, I need some sort of directory separator. Can I just assume forward slash? That's going to be useful soon, I think. Um, there's nothing. What's that? File descriptor. Hmm. So, dire directory separator. Is path separator reports by the C is a directory separator character? Okay. I kind of need a little bit more info on that. I need the opposite. I need the opposite. How about path set? Oops. Okay. Path separator then. It's just a constant. So, <coughs> excuse me. That plus rs dot path. Separator and great. Cheat, see if this works. Although I probably can just do string. Let's try that. In the config. Actually, I'll just do it differently here. So that's what we've got at the moment. I'm going to try is that. 
don't know whether it'll make any difference. But it, it reads a little bit easier. So if that works, I'll do it on the main thing. Right, okay. Did not like the rune being on a thing, so let's just do string and see what happens. Good, okay, that works. It's a little bit easier anyway. So, okay, yeah, we're good. All right, rapidly running out of time. So, I didn't get anywhere near actually doing the export file. But we're setting up for doing that by getting the params in place. Um, yeah. Oops. I've just closed it. Didn't want to close it. Got a bit confused there. Um, I was thinking about some where I, whether I could quickly whip up the export function, but don't think I've got enough time. Um, let's quickly test that. Oh. To put that back to lowercase. Right, okay, now we're back to testing. Okay. Um, let's reverse them. We'll do short form. Oh, and I want to try while we're here this form as well. Does that work? I don't think it does. I don't think it's supposed to. But I just want to give it a quick go just in case. No. Okay. I didn't think it would. Um hey ho. Uh so that should pass now. Now we want to do some failure conditions. So well, there's one. So we already know that this should fail. Or not. Why?
how oh, it'll throw out okay yeah so that's failing the other when I did it up there it's failing because I was getting the default to come out hmm Leave that for the moment. I have to come back to that. I might have to have a look at how we handle command line flags uh, so that we don't run into those kind of problems. But I keep think I keep coming back to that idea that I maybe need to be a little bit more flexible there. Anyway, all right, I really am running out of time now. Um, so let's just double check that I've saved that. Okay, yeah. Uh, I can't really commit that because there's nothing really going on there. We haven't hooked it all up to an export function. Um, so we need to do that um, next. Uh, so I should have done it with that format really. Anyway, um, export command flags set up e to write export do. Just a reminder to myself where we are. Okay. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, take care.